Hi there. Well, welcome to this video on Azure Communication Services and SMS functionality. My name is Dan Wallin. I'm a Cloud Developer Advocate at Microsoft. And throughout this video, we're going to talk about three key things. We're going to first start off with use cases, why you might want to add SMS functionality to your apps. We'll then talk about how you can go to the Azure portal and get a toll-free number to use for sending the messages. And then finally, we're going to wrap up talking about a little bit of code you can use to send your first message. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start things off by talking about some of the different use cases that you could apply SMS to at your company. So one of the most common scenarios is marketing and promotional messages. Oftentimes, someone will opt in to receive text messages with discount codes or other promotional information about a company's products. It's a great way for the company to stay in touch with that customer. And of course, the customer can always opt out whenever they want to stop receiving them. Another scenario would be alerts. It could be emergency alerts, alerts about technology going down or coming back up, or really anything where you want to notify a person about something that's happened. Now, a big one, and I've seen this a lot personally lately, is customer engagement. This could be everything from shipping information so that customers know where their package is in a shipment process, or lately, if you go to the doctor, you might get a notification on when your scheduled time is. You can then cancel from there or reschedule or do those type of activities. And it makes it really easy for the doctor in this case to actually reach you without having to tie up a person that you'd have to call up and talk to. So that's another great way that applications these days are using this SMS technology for customer engagement. Another one that you might use with some companies is two-factor authentication. There's plenty of applications out there that don't require you to have an authenticator type app. Instead, they send you a text message with a code or a password, and then you have to log in with that code or that one-time password. So whether it's marketing and promotions, alerts, customer engagement, two-factor authentication, or many other use cases that could come up, Azure Communication Services SMS functionality would help you out there. Now, what about the SMS features that Azure Communication Services provides? Well, it provides a robust set of features to help you take advantage of what we just talked about earlier. So first off, there's a simple setup involved. The experience is very straightforward to get going. I'm gonna walk you through that experience as we go through this video, actually. And you'll see that once you get a phone number, it's very straightforward. It also has high velocity message support over toll-free numbers for application to person, or A2P we call that, in the United States. When it comes to two-way conversations, it supports scenarios like customer support, alerts, and appointment reminders. And then of course you can use it for analytics to track usage patterns and customer engagement. Finally, it does support opt-out handling to automatically detect and respect opt-outs for toll-free numbers. Opt-outs for US toll-free numbers are mandated and enforced by US carriers, so this is, of course, a very important feature to have as part of Azure Communication Services. So now that we've talked about that, let's see how simple and straightforward it is to get started. And what I'm gonna walk you through is going to the portal and then setting up a toll-free phone number that can then be used to send SMS messages. Coming back into the Azure portal, you'll notice I've already set up an ACS resource. Now, if you're new to this process, there's a video I created earlier that walks you through it. What I'm gonna do in this video though, is just focus on the phone number that we need for the SMS capabilities. So you'll notice on the left, I have voice calling, PSTN, and I have phone numbers and direct routing. Well, we're gonna do phone numbers. But before I click on that, I wanna call out some documentation you can get. You'll notice telephony and SMS right here in the middle. And if I click on that, it'll take me right to a quick start. I can pick a language I wanna work with, and then we'd be off to the races. It'll walk you through the process of creating the phone number and doing everything I'm gonna show you. So let's go on back, and I'm gonna click on phone numbers. Now, I currently don't have anyone in this resource, so let's click get a number. Now we can click the country or region. In this case, there's two options, so I'm gonna do United States. And now we have to determine, is this for an application that'll be making calls or sending SMS, or an actual person? 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and do an application and I want a toll-free number because that's what we're gonna use for SMS. So coming on down, you'll notice right now I have none for SMS. We can either just send SMS or we could send and receive. Now in the demo, I'm gonna show you momentarily, I'm only gonna send, but I'm gonna go ahead and select send and receive just so we'd have that option if we wanted to. So let me click on next numbers. And now notice I have an option for the prefix. Now currently there should only be one in here, A33, but you can also do special request orders as well. But I'm gonna go ahead with the default and I just want one number. So let's search for a number. Okay, so there we go. I have an A33 number you'll see here. Looks like it'll be $2 a month to have this number. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next summary. There's our summary that we saw earlier and let's place the order. All right, so this order will take a moment to get started and actually get me that phone number. So through the magic of video, I'll go ahead and speed this up and I'll show you how we can actually use this information in some code. Now that we've set up a toll-free number, let's take a look at how we can send an SMS message using an application. So I have a really simple .NET Core console application created. And one of the things that'll stand out at the top is a namespace, azure.communication.sms. Now to get access to that namespace, I did have to install a NuGet package. If we go to dependencies packages, you'll notice Azure Communication SMS there. So once you have that installed, you'll have access to the namespace. Now inside of that namespace, we're gonna have a class called SMS Client. And this SMS Client is a really simple way to get started sending SMS messages. You'll notice we're gonna feed it the connection string, and then we call a send method. Now I need to get the connection string from the portal. We're gonna do that momentarily. And I also need the number that we created from the portal as well. Now what I'm gonna do is feed that number we created into the from. I have a two and that's gonna to go to me. I kind of hid that away in a little static property called two number. We have our message and then we have some optional stuff. In this case, I would like to enable a delivery report. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tag the message as marketing. This is completely optional, but it provides a way to get delivery reports and then categorize those based on your tags. Now, to get started using this, we of course need to start from the top here and we need to go in and get our connection string. Now, I'm gonna grab it from the portal and just paste it in the code, but as is mentioned here, you might grab this from an environment variable, you might call out to Azure Key Vault or some other more secure location. But let's run off to the portal and we'll go ahead and grab our phone number and then I'll go back and grab our connection string as well. So since I'm already on the phone number screen and you'll see it's now active, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. We'll come on back and in the from, we'll go ahead and paste this in. Now it does have to be a specific E.164 formatted phone number. So you'll see the plus, you'll see the country code on front and everything has to be formatted properly. But if you just paste it, it'll automatically format that and get it ready to go. Now, the next thing I need is my endpoint or connection string. So I'm gonna come back in and we looked at this in the portal video and I'm gonna come into our keys and then I'm gonna grab the connection string that you see right here. And then we'll go ahead and paste this right into our endpoint. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the duplicate here and we're now ready to go with our connection. We're gonna feed that into the SMS client. We have our phone number plugged in and we're gonna call send. So let's go ahead and fire this console app up now, and then I'll also show you what comes into my phone. All right, so you can see it's launched. I'll go ahead and click into that, and notice there we go, hello world from ACS. So that's how simple it is to get started sending a text message using the SMS functionality of Azure Communication Services. And while I showed .NET in this case, we can do this with many other languages as well. Well, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you have a good idea about how to get started with SMS functionality in Azure Communication Services. So as a quick recap, we talked about the use cases for SMS in your apps. We talked about going to the Azure portal to set up your toll-free number. And then I showed just a little bit of code to get started sending that first SMS message. 
Now, if you'd like more information on Azure Communication Services, check out the other videos in this library, or you can go to the link that you see on your screen. Thanks for watching.